Welcome back. Uh, the Community Harvest Food Bank of Northeastern Indiana is celebrating a huge milestone. That's right, and our Jessica Walter joins us now with more. Hi, Jessica. Good morning, guys. That is it. You're right. A huge milestone for them. And you know, I'm looking at the at the shelves this morning. I think they look pretty full. I'm here with Roy. He says not really. Well, that's very true. Uh, this part here is a lot of our government food that gets supplied to us. But the, the need for food is just incredible. Uh, in uh, in pre-COVID in 2019, uh, we were averaging roughly 600 to 650 families would go through here on a Saturday. Now we did all we do all kinds of other distributions, but Saturdays. And then at the height of COVID in August, September, October of 2020, we were doing 1,300 families every Saturday. And then at, in 2021, it dropped off again as the need for COVID and some other things changed. So we were back to our 600, 650, 700. However, in recent months. Uh, we've seen that number climb to now we're between 1,100 to 1,200 and even exceeding 1,200 by a few um, now. And there is no COVID. It's just the need. And so in order to, and part of what we're trying to do to uh, overcome that issue is uh, doing food drives and other things as the uh, community comes together to help us. One of those ways is something that's coming up here in uh, in just a few weeks. It's called Canstruction. It's a, a competition be this year between 11 schools, junior high and middle schools. They all come together and they meet at Glenbrook Square. They'll be there on the 28th of Friday, the 28th of April, and they will construct these statues, if you will, of, of canned food and boxes and build these things that will be anywhere from 3,000 to 15,000 cans, and that's roughly a pound a piece. So you can see that up to seven tons of food in a structure. But they will compete together for to raise this. The cans then come to us, and then we're able to redistribute them throughout our, our region. So it is an awesome, awesome opportunity for all of the schools. And next year, just to say, next year, if there's a school that's watching, uh, we'd love to have some more people. We'd love to have have your school be a, be a part of what we do here. Construction is an amazing thing, and it helps us to survive the need that is currently in our uh, our community, in our region. Yeah, like you said, such an awesome way for people to get involved and really fill up these shelves and just help a family in need right here in your community. All right, and we do have a generous community, we and do. I know people will step up and donate. All right, Jessica, thank you.